and had a meeting up at the school and the parson there and Master Cool that was captain of the parish was there. And of course the captain would be in the chair but couldn't put out no talk at all. And then the people gave a call for the doctor to speak and so he did. But the parson first. And the little he said was very good. And the Lord had sent the cholera for them to repent and call upon his name and turn, he said. And his anger wouldn't burn forever, he said. And our sins was great, but come unto the mercy seat, he said. And the crimson would be like the wool. Oh, capital Texas, beautiful. So I was told of them that heard. And the doctor didn't say a word against the parson. But bowing though, and our respected vicar, you know, and that, oh, bless you. These Englishmen can do it with a taste they can. T of course, and ready afar. The Manx is awkward. Yes, they are. And excellent advice. And trusting they never forget. But for all, they mustn't leave everything to the Lord and sit with their hands before them. But help a bit themselves. And wouldn't the Lord be willing of a bit of whitewash you going spilling about the place? And what would they say to begin and clear the middens away? And then an owl fisherman got up. I believe he'd had a little sup. And strooked his hair the way with them chaps. And a little spit and a little... <coughs> perhaps. And says he, the whitewash will do very well. But middens is middens, Master Bell, he says. Oh, bless us, <laughs> the laugh that was there. Middens is middens. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Billy Sale, they were calling him. But he was never getting no other name after that but Billy the Midden. And they wouldn't claim them. And they didn't. And of course they were right. What nonsense, bless you. Them doctors, they're fit enough to distress you. Capers. What's more comfortable till a midden about a house, if you're able to have a midden and keep it nice and anyways dry? And think of the price of dung and potatoes. You can't do without them, and how will you do? How will you be doing about them if you haven't a midden? <laughs> They're clever, but hasn't the smallest notion whatever about dung. Not them. And as for the stink, a midden needn't be a sink. Trim it nice upon the street, and the midden will smell as sweet as sweet, and very wholesome. <laughs>